My name is Brian Downey, I'm the head physio for Aberavon Rugby. I'm responsible for the medical management of the club, mostly the players but occasionally the management. Um, I look after their fitness and any injuries, get them hopefully back on the field and available to play. I also uh, arrange appointments with consultants or other specialties when they're injured and coordinate the rehabilitation back to playing. Sports therapist Charon, who's been here a lot longer than I have and knows more about the club. She does most of the soft tissue work and lots of the running of the medical team behind the scenes, getting uh, strapping and taping stuff supplies and making sure that we're all in order. Oshan is the other senior physio who has been with me now for quite a few years. It looks at a typical injury on the weekend. He had a, he's front row player, so he had a fairly difficult scrum and he came in with neck pain that he suffered during the game. He was a fairly straightforward, not a serious injury and he's available for training and for playing this week. Some of the um, injuries I like look are really short term and quick fix and, and there's a good turnaround, but we have some long term injuries, ACLs, Achilles ruptures, shoulder dislocations. So Liam's a good example, he got injured at the end of last season. He ruptured his anterior cruciate ligament. That unfortunately requires surgical intervention. So we coordinated um, surgery in Cardiff with one of the knee surgeons. And he had a reconstruction, it was probably about eight months ago. And then he's been progressing through a protocol of gradual loading, gradually increases training, um, skill specific, that sort of thing. And he's been taken through that quite diligently by Oshan. He will become available probably at about nine months. So we have to manage him the whole way through that and make sure that he doesn't overstep the mark, that he's in controlled rehab on his way back to full training. I try and assess the players on a running basis so we'd have awareness of where they all are at any time because some of them go out on the weekends on loan to other teams so we need to know what they're like so we get them here on a Tuesday we assess them all they'll sometimes text me over the weekend and I'm sort of ahead of the game by Tuesday end of play on a Tuesday night I normally have a complete list of availability injuries likelihood of returning and when they're going to return and what sort of intervention if any is needed so Jason then has a running list of his whole squad and he can pick and select from that and then make decisions regarding maybe resting a player for more this week so he's available for the next week. So we have that communication on a fairly regular basis. We turn up a bit earlier on my stay and get all the medical equipment out pitch side, making sure it's all ready to go, go through the checklist of material that we'll need for the day. We're responsible for the player's safety on the field. So if there is an injury, it's our responsibility to get to the player as quickly as possible and make sure that they don't get injured any further. We have a course every year which we do, which is a trauma training course, and that assesses our ability to manage any on-field trauma. We have to do that every year to become um, available at pitch side. It's a minimum criteria from the WRU in the Premiership. I think semi-pro is much more difficult than professional. I was a professional physio for quite a few years full time and you're with the players seven days a week. Here these guys have got jobs to do, they've got partners, they've got children, they've got other things that take their time and they're putting in this extra in the evenings and on their weekends. It's a case of trying to balance those unknown variables with what we want them to do on the, on the Tuesday and Thursday night and on Saturday, which is much more difficult. Mm -hmm.